Hi, this is Ms. Fitzmorris, and this video is an explanation of the two problems you started today in class. Okay, so that's page 10 in your packet number 5, and then page 9, number 10. Okay, so I'm going to start with page 10, number 5, and it says, Angelica just got a new puppy and takes it out for a walk across an icy lake. Unfortunately, the puppy is very lazy and she has to pull it on a sled across the ice, which has a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0 0.01. Okay, coefficient of kinetic friction is mu k. Um, if Angelica pulls the puppy by the sled and the rope, at an angle of 15 degrees, and the puppy and the sled weigh 18 kilograms, so we know M equals 18 kg, with what force must she pull in order to maintain a constant speed? Okay, so now that I've written these numbers down, I'm going to first draw my force bunny diagram. Okay, so I think about what forces are acting on this puppy and the sled. I know that gravity is pulling them down. Okay, there's a normal force from the lake pushing up. Angelica is pushing or pulling with an applied force that's at a 15 degree angle. And there's friction against the direction of the movement. Okay. So I'm going to, on the side, redraw the force applied. Okay, so I know that this force applied is at an angle of 15 degrees. So I know that FAX is equal to FA times cosine 15. And FAY is equal to FA times sine 15. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out my Newton's second law equation. So I have sigma FX equals MAX, and I have sigma FY equals MAY. And we're going to write both of those out. Okay, I know that in the x direction, I have, it's right minus left, so I have FAX minus FF is equal to MAX. Okay, because it says she is pulling at a constant speed, I know that my acceleration is going to be zero. And so I know that FAX minus FF equals zero. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my force vector. And I know that FAX is FA. I don't know a number for FA, so I'm just going to leave it as a variable. And you have to get comfortable with carrying around these variables times cosine 15 minus the equation for FF is mu k times Fn, and this is equal to zero. Okay, there's a problem here. We have a number for mu k, and I could go ahead and plug it in if I wanted, but I also don't know what Fa is. So I don't know Fn, and I don't know Fa, and I have one equation but two unknowns. That tells me I need to look at my y information. Okay, in the y direction, we have fn is up, so it's up minus down, fn plus fay minus the down forces, so minus fg is equal to may. It's not moving up and down, so MAY is going to be equal to zero. So I have that is equal to zero. 
then I'm going to plug in Fn plus, I know that Fay is Fa sine 15. minus mg equals zero. Okay, and I'm actually not gonna plug any numbers in yet. I guess I plugged in the 15 degrees, but I'm gonna hold off until I can solve for either Fn or Fa. Okay, so I want to eliminate Fn. So this is what my strategy is gonna be. I'm gonna solve for Fn over here, and then I'm gonna bring that Fn into my x, my horizontal side. Okay, so I'm gonna isolate Fn in this y equation. I'm just gonna subtract minus Fa sine 15. I'm gonna add mg, so Fn is equal to mg minus Fa sine 15. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it in for Fn over on this side. Okay, I don't have a number for it, but I'm going to use substitution. Okay, so I have Fa cosine 15 minus mu k. And I'm just going to plug this whole thing in for Fn times mg minus Fa sine 15 equals zero. Okay, I still have to solve for Fa, but at this point I have only Fa and then I have number from UK, I have a number for M, G is 10. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug those numbers in. So I know that the cosine of 15 is 0.966, so I have 0.966 Fa minus mu k is 0.01, I know m is 18, so 18 times 10 minus Fa which I still don't know, times sine 15, and sine 15 is equal to 0.259. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I have to distribute this 0.01 algebraically, so I have 0.966 Fa minus 18 times 10 is 180 times 0 0.01 is 1.8. Okay, minus 0 0.025 or 0 0.00259 times Fa equals zero. Okay, at this point, I just have to combine my like terms. So these two are like terms, and I'm gonna solve. Okay, so I have Fa times 0 0.966 minus 0 0.00259 minus 1.8 equals zero. I'm gonna bring the 1.8 over to the other side. And I get Fa is equal to 1.87 newtons. Okay, so there was a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of juggling in this problem. Um, you really have to be willing to have the patience to write 
you know, draw out your force body diagram, write out sigma fx equals max, and just plug in everything you can. What you can't plug in, leave as a variable and go to the other side. Okay, on the other side, you realize you can't solve for everything either, so we're going to need to use um, substitution or the method of, um, shoot, what's the thing called in math? Um, the method of dealing with systems of equations in order to solve for either Fn or Fa. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful, um, and I will see you tomorrow.